Hello, so in this video I'm sharing with you my first day in Mexico City and all the things I did before checking in. I've been in Mexico for about four and a half months now and I was in Quintana Roo for a bit, then Yucatan State, uh, Oaxaca, Oaxaca City, Puerto Escondido and now in Mexico City. This video is in collaboration with Nanny Bag but I'll talk about them in a bit and yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. Hello, so I'm at Chapultec Castle and um, it's in this massive park. It reminds me of like, I guess like Central Park in New York. Um, the ticket was 85 pesos um, and yeah, it's, the views are amazing from here and I'm just about to go inside as well to show you a bit around. But it's one of the things that um, comes up when you like search for things to do in Mexico City. So I'm really excited. I want to do a little tour of the Airbnb I stayed in, but first I want to talk about nanny bag. So as I mentioned earlier, these are all the things that I did um, before even checking in. Um, I did about 30,000 steps before even getting to the Airbnb. Normally I would have my big backpack with me and my laptop bag with all my gear and everything so um, it wouldn't be possible to do all of these things and this is where Nanny Bag comes in. Nanny Bag provides luggage storage in over 500 cities across the world and makes it easier for you to explore before check-in and after check-out or even during long layovers uh, without having to drag your luggage with you everywhere. One thing I hate is wasting time in a new destination. So usually I I would have spent hours at a cafe or somewhere just sitting, waiting for um, check-in time. Um, and I just felt like I missed a whole day of exploring. This time I could immediately walk around right after landing. I just went and went to a nanny bag location, stored my bag and then um, off I went and did all these things and then when it was time for check-in I went to pick up my bag and uh, went to the accommodation so I didn't feel like I wasted a whole day or like half a day even or something because I don't know I think it's like that for everyone that when you arrive somewhere you want to immediately explore you want to go out and do things and in a busy city like Mexico City with um, like busy crowded metros and buses and um, it's almost impossible to take a big luggage with you or a big backpack. Um, you can find out more about Nanny Bag on their website about the different locations all over the world and everything. So I'll link down I'll link it down below in the description box. You can also follow them on Instagram. They've got a great account. <music> Thank you so much for watching. 
watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I absolutely loved Mexico City. Uh, so much to do, so many like free things, budget friendly things to do, so many unique things. Um, I really enjoyed it and yeah, hopefully you'll be able to visit one day as well and hopefully this video has given you an idea um, of what it's like. Obviously there's so many more things than what I've um, mentioned in this video. Um, but yeah, you can also follow me on Instagram at Marisa WZ. Um, I post a lot about the travel content around Mexico and also just generally um, I'm usually based in the UK and Scotland so I post a lot of stuff about there. Um, a lot of solo travel, a lot of, um, about budget travel and travelling by public transport since I don't drive. And yeah, uh, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.